Um, Angela Tiatia, the subject of my painting, is a renowned artist and um, I've always been, uh, I, every time I see her I'd be knocked out by just her presence. It's, you know, some people have th that factor, that quality to them where they're just, they walk into a room and they're just, you know, they light up the room. And um, I, I met her a couple of times and we got on very well and I hadn't even thought of painting a picture and then I thought, well, I'd really like to paint your portrait and she said straight away, yeah. And I thought, fantastic. And, uh, and she said, is this for a, an art prize? And my thought was, I have no idea. I just want, let's just get over the hurdle of painting a good picture first, you know. And we'll have a look at that and then we'll see where it goes. So, look, she came to the studio and sat for me. And I painted the picture directly from life. I didn't use the photograph at all. And uh, we got on very well. And it, the sitting lasted a few hours. And this was the end result. Well, I, I think I, I kind of start with just a kind of loose sketch. Um, oh, and the, other, the very important thing is I have no preconceived idea of what I want the picture to look like, which is, you know, most people think of ideas and things. I don't have any idea. I basically got her to come in and sit down and be herself, and I would look away, and then I'd be preparing the paints, mixing the colours, and then I would look up, and there she was, and I went, that's what I want to paint, that presence, that moment. Um, and so that's what I did, for, and she maintained that amazing presence for three hours while I painted. I think people are naturally drawn to the eyes in paintings. I think it's very natural, as we are drawn to the eyes with people as well in real life. But I think other things work very well in, in paintings. Like with Angela, I thought she had a very strong poise. Uh, I think every, every part of her body language suggested strength and uh, intelligence. I mean, she's almost like a lion, you know, with the, with the mane. And, I'm mean, a very, very beautiful person. And, um, and there was a stillness about her and a calm. And I want this. Look, there's so many things I had to get down in, in a very short period of time, and I just hope that some of that's come through in the work. All right. Well, I've met uh, Angela a few times, and um, uh, we got on very well. She's a very funny person, and uh, I can see she's very aesthetically tuned and understands what people are doing. Some of the favourite painters are some of my favourite painters, so we had that in common. Uh, so we we could talk about um, painting and talk about the process very easily. So uh, it wasn't a very un uncomfortable thing to, to paint her. Uh, I got very well with her while I was painting. And uh, I, think, I think basically, you know, the thing is like artists are asked a lot of questions, but it's incredible how much of the answers are really there in the painting. You can actually see that there's a relation between her and me uh, in the sense that we both got on very well and we both relaxed with each other. And I tried to pull these things into the world of painting from real life uh, because painting is this other thing you know it's like real life is this one thing and then you sort of try and interpret it or translate it into paint and and then make the paint feel alive and that's really what painting is trying to make it feel alive I, I think um, uh, much of it is very instinctive when you look at a painting I think instinctively we ask ourselves um, who is she looking at how does she feel about the person she's looking at um, who are we in relation to this person and uh, who is the person who painted the picture and what's their relationship and I think a lot of the times you do sense that in portrait in a, you know, a situation where you have a portrait and a, and a painter I mean even like you go back to like Rembrandt when Rembrandt painted somebody you know you would say did Rembrandt like this person usually he did I mean most painters will only paint people they like because it's it's too awful to paint someone you don't like you know it just all comes out you know and it can be quite yucky but when you paint somebody you do like you're all these um, interesting things come about. I, I usually paint very small. I usually paint very uh, human scale pictures. But with this one, I, I, I find that she's such a big, strong personality that I really wanted to sort of bring that out. And I wanted the picture to be almost monumental in that way and, um, and strong. So I hope it, it, you, know, you see that in the picture. You know?